milestone, who get to milestone five, raise your hand. All of you, milestone four. It's okay, like some of you get un an unlucky problem. Uh, the v so you all understand VCR? Yeah? Okay. Uh, I want to show you the, right, what happened if after you publish the gem, right, with this, you can then run it from anywhere. What I did here, I named my gem HT movies. So now you can tell your friend or anyone else in the world who has Ruby on the computer. Everyone has it, right? You say, hey, uh, go to your computer, type gem install HT movies. And then, yeah, okay. And after you do that, you just type film and then this, this works. Right? So that's very nice uh, a way, a way of distributing your software, obviously. So this is my executable. Uh, the non-executable way is obviously when you run IRB and you can say require movies and then you can execute the code yourself. Uh, how does the executable work? When you do um, gem install HD movies, that's the name of my gem, it will copy the executable to the path. So if you type which film, you will know where, right, I installed a gem within the Ruby 231 right and all the executable are copied here the same way it copy you know your rails 5 uh, file in that folder all your executable goes there right does it make sense if you install one gem another gem if I install your gem that also call this fin and what happens it will warn you hey this will overwrite your executable so how does that executable work uh, in this gem spec file you cannot name your file this movies because <coughs> when you go to uh, the website right you will say movies already taken so one good way if you can just say what what's your name let's say if your name is nam right so then you can nam chan right and t so right? you can do that and if i type this do you see what it's saying here? It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. So, what 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 does it mean? It means now if I say this as NT movies, okay, uh, and I and I um, try to install the gem, right? It will first complain. You have to commit first. So. And then, well, if you do this reg install, it will install to your local machine, right? So, reg install, it will build this into the gem name, a gem. Does that make sense? And there's a bit of a problem here. It actually is not smart enough. There's a bit of a problem, like, um, because in your code, it's the, the name of the library is movies, and in your gem name is NT movies. Okay, so when you start your project, it's best if you do bundle gem and do this yourself, right? So usually pick a name first, okay? So that your life is a lot easier. So this is an, a problem that rig install will just crash. That's a bug, right? It just crashed like that. But let's say if I do rig release, I'm like, okay, maybe it will install. And, and so it looks okay, actually. That's what I did. I actually, that's what I did with HD movies. It requires you to commit. So you get at, and then you commit. That's what I did, right? I say bump the version. So let me go back to that version for you. Get reset to the previous version. And here, oh. Uh, you also have to each time you release online you also have to bump version that's uh that's, let me reset one more time up before that you see i renamed this here right and then i i also have to uh if i already released this version i have to bump it there's no way you can re overwrite because if you publish a library version 1.0.0 and then you change your code and you push to the same version someone else you can hack into someone else's system if you, you know, hey, my jam is safe. And like people use your jam, it's like, oh yeah, it's safe. Thank you very much. And then later you insert all the spyware in it in the same jam version. So you cannot do that, right? It freezes the jam. So 
you have to say, hey, can you update to version 1.0.1? Because I just added some virus, so please update, mm -hmm. right? However, there is a way to yank a gem. I just push, right? So technically, you can go online and you say, remove this version. This is what happened with uh, Note J uh, Note uh, NPM system some some time back. The guy got pissed off, right? That um, a company named Cake uh, want to use the name name gem named Cake, and this guy, a developer, has the name uh, a gem named Cake, and he said, "No, I don't want to give it to you." So this company say, "We will sue you," and the developer say. Well, you know, no, just don't. So that company contact Node, you know, uh, Node.js, you know, package manager system, right? NPM, uh, and they, that that comp that it, it's like Ruby gems. They let the company use that library. So this developer get pissed off, and he he's just angry. So he delete all his gems. Uh, his yeah, NPM. And when that happens. All the module breakers. He write a very simple package, but all, all the popular libraries use like React also use. Uh, so I think that's there's a joke there. I think if you, I think it's called left pad or something like that, right? But it's so funny, right? So the idea is that if you publish your gem and then you yank it, someone else is depending on it. Like you know, someone use Fim to list all the movies they want to watch, and later you yank it. If ten thousand libraries use mine, you know, I will break the, the web. So, um, so this is really funny. Uh, so this is the the case, right? Uh, many npm users suffer because this package left bad. The developer wrote this kick, and then npm take it away from him, give it to the company, and developer withdraw all his libraries and left bad. Basically, given a string, left bad is a package that give, you can add. 10 characters before that string, so uh, 10 blank space, so it's padding. And uh, because everyone's lazy, they use that gem, so uh, not that package, so the whole internet broke. You see this? How that one developer just broke all of that, so it's really fun. <laughs> and then, so what happens? People have to go into their um, own code. In this case, for example, if this developer, I use it in here, right? If someone just, just basically remove version vcr version whatever my code will break for example right uh mechanized someone remove let's see what version of mechanized i have uh someone remove mechanized 7.2.7.4 and my code when it's installed the machine it will break so i have to go in here and have to update my code All right so i have to re-release imagine the in the whole internet having to do that right now, when you publish your gem, uh, notice that there's a development dependency here and regular dependency, right? This get pushed to the internet. This, this, if you do this for the gems you don't need, then it doesn't use up the space on the user's system when they do gem install. Does it make sense? Okay, so there's a question on how to use uh, Mechanize. So Mechanize is super cool, um, as you can already see. Uh, usually, a lot of things we need it's just in a diff or a span or you know um, a link. And if you go to fim, uh, this one, it's very common. You go to the web website, and so someone asked me a question. So that's that's my way of getting it. Um, you may have a faster way, but if I click on this name of the movie, this one. Right, and I see that here's a class film name. Oh, yeah. So that's the fastest way. But if I want to include, there's so many ways you can improve this. You can get the picture, get the um, uh, you know URL, and display that in the terminal. Uh, so let's say then maybe this one is better. So oh. this one you can get the image, and you get a source. You get the alt, also the name of the movie. So you can get get this guy. And maybe you can do something like ASCII image in terminal. You can use a gem and you can display their poster, uh, you know, image to ASCII. Text. So you can actually display, how cool is that? Your film can actually display uh, something like this into the terminal and it will look like, I don't know, is that a preview? Um, yeah, demo. Is that a preview uh, demo? Yeah. 
Yeah, it looked like that in the terminal. So, right? So it's cool if you suddenly display all of this as that in my uh, terminal. In your terminal, there, there are colors too, so not just black and white. Uh, you can even do colors. I'm not sure if this gem uh, support that, okay? So, that's pretty cool. There's uh, some ideas. I hope this uh, mechanized also help you extract data, not just to, you know, in some cases you need a lot of data, right? Just write a gem, you can test it. And and now you know that you if you use VCR, it's easy to uh, to 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 uh, write code that crawl data on website, right? If you use uh, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook is kind of hard, but Twitter there, it's a lot of public public pages. It, Twitter is amazing with content, but if you keep visiting it, they will block you. They some or GitHub even the same, they will block you. So you don't, uh, you know. Oh, so like, here. Uh, so 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 if you want to keep getting the, this tweet and the, if you use it. Uh, please use VCR and please remember um, in this lab some of these notes are important right don't just ignore it okay thank you guys hope you learned some new stuff today uh. Yo, nice.